afraid to fail. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've met a lot of people that are so just scared to fail that they don't even try in the first place. What's up, YouTube? I'm just kidding. Um, we're out here. It's uh, spring break in Panama. As you guys know, I live here. Um, this is vlog 12. So I just met these people. Alexis. <laughs> Kirsten. Kirsten. <laughs> butchered it. Oh, how do I butcher it? He's still recording. It's Kirsten. <laughs> oh. oh, your name. Yeah, I'm fucking up her name hard. Peter Park. Almost spring break, or it's beginning of spring break, or whatever. She said it was almost spring break, but no one's out here. It's dead. Okay, you guys are all in the shot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not expecting to be in it. What do you mean? In the video. You are going to be in the video, duh. Oh my god. And you're, are you still recording? No. No. All right, so I did want to learn how to do a flip. I guess this is the way I can learn how to do a flip. Because I don't, I'm not athletic at all. You can do flips, can't you, though? Alexis. You know, I broke my elbow doing it. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't do it. But yeah. You can do a flip right now. Get her. No. <laughs> do a flip right now. I'm not scared. Why do we do this? Don't, don't be scared. Do you, you got it. You can zoom in with a little thing. Hold the cords? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. You guys see my titties <laughs> flapping back? Oh my God. Do I just do a flip now? Yeah, you can do a flip. Oh, okay. Go backwards. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Woo! That was actually cool as fuck. We should have like a GoPro right here. Try forwards. Yeah, fuck you. No, I'm actually getting a headache by doing that. It's really getting up on here right here, my groin. Yeah, yeah my, my dick is getting smaller as we speak. Forward? Yeah, yeah. Go forward. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. no! <laughs> for <Forward> my ass! <laughs> oh, you see that shit? Yeah. I can get off here and do a flip, no doubt. Let's see it. Break my fucking neck. All right, I'm good, I'm good. No, I don't, I don't got it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Unless, do you want to get that one? <laughs> you guys really not going to go? No. That's so lame, for real. What you I don't know. I guess I'm just like a little kid right now. Um, let's go throw some axes. Freaking lit out here, guys. Look how lit it is. Holy shit. You guys fucking ready for this shit? Not really. You guys ready to do this escape room? Let's go. Hello, welcome in. There you go. Hello. Are you guys checking in? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Austin Wallace. Austin, for the submergency? Yeah, the hardest one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty smart, so. Are you guys recording? Yeah. You can't in the escape room. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that. Okay. That would be ridiculous. Do you guys sign waivers next door? Yeah. Okay, and do you want to use the restroom before you start? No, I'm good. You're good? You want to oh. start now? Yeah. All right, welcome to Submergency. As you can see on the screen, you have an hour to escape. For the first 15 minutes, you're going to work together as a team and figure out whatever you can around the room. So you cannot ask for any clues for the first 15 minutes. But if you want some help after we have cameras in the room, you look at the camera, wave, we're going to send you a clue on the screen right there. You guys are Navy SEALs. You're trapped inside the submarine. There's a bomb that's about to go off in an hour. So you guys have to figure out how to deactivate the bomb and escape, okay? Is it like realistic scenario or just like... No, it's not realistic. It's just so in a room. It's like just process. It was realistic. So... Look at history. Oh, it's history? <laughs> it's what? It's history questions? History? No, oh, no, screwed. it's no. not like that at all. Okay, no. No. We all work together, okay. but we cannot ask for clues the first 15 minutes. We all have okay, to work together. together. Okay, the timer started. Um, Wait, the timer started yes, right now? Yes, Okay. Dude, I don't um, need small spaces. All right, um, all right, every, all about escape rooms. It's about, it's about, <laughs> it's about letters. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think we're gonna get past this. <laughs> What's the first clue? All right, you wait, guys, look, 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 stop touching shit. Okay. Look. All right, maybe I will just start touching shit. Wait, is that what you did? Clue, we have three clues. We're gonna use all three of them right now. Oh my god, we did it! I'm smart! We made it to the next room. Oh, we, well, we had to do that right there, right? Yeah. We won, oh, though, right? Oh, we had to put them in first. That's why. No. 
Oh, uh, we and fucking did then. Yeah, I did all the yeah, work. No, I know, I did all the work. No, you did not. No, 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 it's no, because no. I had to put those pieces in. No, I think I if we look back at the footage, I did everything. We would, we would, no, we would have <laughs> No, I think we did there. good together. So how we bad did we do? Yeah, yeah, but how bad did we do? How bad? <laughs> I would say you guys did bad in this case. So that was the point. <laughs> but I would say you guys did bad. That was the hardest room? Asking for a lot of clues, but that's fine. That's how it works. But it's I did the best, though. Just so, to, can you say that? Wait. I, no, I, had <laughs> I had to put the cards in for it to unlock, did I? Yeah. Boom, I did it! When things are like really struggling, you just gotta work through it. That's my that's my advice. <laughs> I'm trying to give these viewers advice. That was fun. That was fun. I felt that's stupid fun. though. We weren't getting well, anywhere. Like, what do you mean? We got everywhere. We did it. Actually Sunday, and I actually have to send this off to my editor, and I really want to find something to do. Um, I hung out with Alexis, you know, new friends. Got to hang out with them, make connections, do things like that because, you know, you never know when you don't have friends and then you're fucked because no one's around and it's just you. And it's really fucking boring. So, you know, sometimes you just need to have some people around. Yeah. Life. Life is a, a road with a lot of hills. Giving you guys some life advice. I don't know. I just felt like maybe some of you all need some life advice. I mean, whatever you're going through, I hope you're getting through it. Why are we going off track here? Why are we talking about this? All right, what's up guys? So I wasn't always the greatest person in the world. I didn't have money and I grew up in the hood. <laughs> and I worked at this place, a hotel um, called Roadway in Panama City, Florida. And this is my old boss right here, Nero. What's up guys? Look at him. It's Panama shitty. Oh, it's a nice place though. Not really, just shit hole. No, I'm just kidding. We, <laughs> I'm just we, kidding. We do our best with what we got. Exactly. That's what everyone does. We're talking about how, all right, so I'm putting all this effort into social media. I was working with him and he actually fired me. <laughs> yeah, you fired me pretty much, right? Unfortunately, I had to. I had to. <laughs> because I wouldn't put any work or effort into getting, I had to get like a certificate or something like that to like run the desk at the front desk over there. Like think about the full circle right here. Like I'm putting in like, probably 100 times more work into this than the 1% work I could have done and I would have kept the job. But I'm glad everything worked out the way it did because if I wouldn't have got fired from there, I wouldn't have started welding, I wouldn't have went and went on a career doing that and I wouldn't have made the good money I did and learned that it's not, it's not all about the big stuff, it's also about the learning, the, the experiences on the travels to what you're trying to exceed and I just feel like if this wouldn't have happened, if I wouldn't have got fired from here. But it was a great little job, they were great people, but if I wouldn't have done that, I would never be here. I would never be making content, or making vlogs, be do what I'm doing, because of all that happened. I've recently learned when you're lazy, it doesn't mean that you don't want to put in the work, it's just something that you're not enjoying. Exactly. And I remember him saying that to me when I didn't do that stuff. I believe how unique your story is. Um, I remember, one day my dad was in Subway. Oh yeah, I worked at Subway before I worked here at this hotel, like when I was 15, 16, right? My dad showed up, he came back to the hotel, told me about Austin, um, how hard he was working. So I gave Austin a shout, he came over one day. Um, we just connected and I, I gave him a chance. Uh, got him to do some, uh, you know, odd end jobs around the hotel, things like that. And yeah, I remember just, cleaning out this right here, these things right here. Literally, these things were filled with like fucking, I don't know what, what is in there. Gum. I mean, yeah, it's not the hardest work in the world, but that's what I was doing at like 15, 16. You know, the beginning of my work life, you know, before I was a welder and all that, like I talked about in my previous vlog. It just showed me that at, at such a young age that he was willing to do what it, it what, what needed to be done in order to try to just get to the next level, level up, just one, one step at a time. Evolve. Evolve, that's right. Um, and then to just see him at this point, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done, no doubt. But um, he's not afraid to fail. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've met a lot of people that are so just scared to fail that they don't even try in the first place. Yeah. And I felt, as you guys know, I fell on the dirt. Probably, I ate that dirt. I don't know how many times. Probably five times so far. I mean, we we keep eating it. We 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 down on the ground still, but we getting back up every time. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it takes. <laughs> I mean, you're not always gonna succeed, but how are you gonna know how you're gonna succeed in something if you don't even try? That's right. Just go out and try. You gotta keep going. Non-stop. Trial and error. Trial and error, that's all it takes. Trial and error. Oh, it was good talking to you, man. Always. This cool-ass motherfucker. He's a, he, he's a 
pretty much entrepreneur. You know, this is his hotel, family's hotel. You know, he, is it your hotel pretty yeah. much now? Yeah. His hotel, he takes care We're of it. We're all just trying to level up. Everyone's trying to level up in anything, not just social media, your life in general, your regular nine to five. You want to be the manager. You want to be the general manager. You want to be the supervisor, whatever. You know, you always want to level up, always become better the next day. Yep. 1% every day. We, we all have bad days though. Don't take that as like, oh, you always have to be on your A game every fucking day. Absolutely fucking not. Because no one is. We're all human. I said, I'm recording you. No, I said oh, wow. Yeah. Way to go. No, stop recording. <laughs> what was that? What is that? I don't know. I'm taking She's not that cool. Um, peace out, 2012. What's up? Where you been? Where you been? Where, where's the my? Um, what is that? Uh, MySpace. What's up, MySpace? And you guys are wondering who's that beautiful person right next to me? What? That's crazy. Headache. I'm just kidding. Don't wreck, please. Is that wreck? Don't wreck. <laughs> oh my god. He was fucking around. He knows how to ride. Now we just wait for him to come back. He better come back. If I have to go help you pick that bike up, I'm gonna punch him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> but I can do what I can do, and that's all we can do. You know what I mean? We can do what we can do, and, <laughs> and that's what we can do.